Hi. In this case, it says that alpha and beta are the roots of this equation. And obviously, you can see that here, uh, oh, I guess alpha and beta are the complex thing because the discriminant you can calculate, b square that is 4 minus 4, say, yeah, uh, it's minus 4, right? So therefore, the discriminant is less than 0, okay? So therefore, it's definitely be a complex. So we are trying to calculate the value of alpha and beta. So let's go ahead, okay? So here, we'll consider the equation first, right? So the quadratic equation is actually x square minus 2x plus 2 and that's equal to 0. Let us write down in a special form. So it's x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to minus 1. See that if 2 is uh, expressed in form of 1 plus 1, we keep 1 in the left hand side and 1 is the right hand side. So in that process, we will get it as x minus 1 whole square is equal to minus 1 that is equal to i square. So that imply that x minus 1 is equal to plus minus i that imply that x is equal to 1 plus minus i. So therefore, that is the uh, solution or that is the value of x. So here we will consider that then what is alpha and what is beta. So let us consider alpha is equal to 1 plus i and beta is equal to 1 minus i. Okay. So we just consider the roots. Now it says that alpha by beta, right? So let's calculate what is alpha by beta. Okay. So alpha divided by beta we are required to calculate. This is 1 plus i divided by 1 minus i. Now we see that, that in that particular problem, we need to simplify it as that x plus i y form. What's the process? You need to multiply that denominator by the conjugate of it. So therefore, it's become that 1 plus i whole square it's equal to 1 minus i and 1 plus i. So let's go ahead. So therefore, we'll expand the numerator. So it's 1 plus i squared plus 2i divided by 1 minus i squared that gives you 2i divided by 2 which gives you i. So therefore, we'll find that alpha by beta whole to the power n is equal to 1 imply that i to the power n is equal to 1. Now see that one the first time we get 1 when i to the power n. i to the power 1 i, i to the power i square minus 1, i cube minus i, i to the power 4 is definitely 1. So we'll say that the least values of n then so that that relation holds is equal to 4. So therefore in this problem obviously option C is the correct answer. Hope you understood the problem. Now just have a look at the normal process, the proper way of calculating step by step. Hope that's clear all the concept regarding your this problem. Thank you.